Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a little bit of a different style video for you guys today because I know, like I said, I cover stuff on the crypto market on a daily basis. And this is something that's very important um, that, you know, maybe isn't so direct to like Shiba Inu or Bitcoin or Pepe like I usually talk about. This is a little bit more of an overall crypto market conversation, especially with Bitcoin being kind of the top number one, one that we're going to be talking about. So let's kind of let's get into a little bit of the news. So the SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange Commission, scores a big win in lawsuit against crypto to exchange Coinbase, okay? So we're gonna kind of dive a little bit deeper into what this means and kind of what happened and what this can mean for the overall market. It's important stuff to understand. You can't just, can't, you know, with, with narrow goggles, I like to say, you can't look at things on a micro scale. You have to kind of look at the blanket overview to understand where you, your, your market moves based off kind of what's happening in the in the broader stream of, of things in the crypto market. So the Securities and Exchange Commission scored a major win in this lawsuit against Coinbase on Wednesday as a judge ruled that its claim that the cryptocurrency exchange engaged in unregistered sales of securities could be heard by a jury in trial. Okay, what does this mean? Let's go into a little bit deeper. Coinbase's shares fell around 2.5% on the news of the ruling in Manhattan Federal Court, rejecting its bid to dismiss the SEC's complaint. Okay. The agency also demand the company be permanently restrained and enjoined from continuing to do so. Okay, let me kind of go over the rest of this and then we'll, we'll probably dive a little bit deeper into this. All right, guys. So the news comes as Coinbase takes on a bigger role in Wall Street's adoption of cryptocurrency. You know, cryptocurrency has seen a lot of of flack, I like to say, um, in recent years. But you know, as Bitcoin, you know, starts to rise and we see more implications and applications of all these old coins. Um, you are starting to see a lot more new money being poured into the crypto market, and inevitably, it's 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 going to grow. Okay, it's it's here to stay. I think so. In January, the SEC approved a raft of U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. Many of these ETFs have partnered with Coinbase as their custody partner. These U.S. spot funds have seen record flows since launching in January. Collectively, they have brought in around fifty-two billion dollars. Okay, so there's kind of w what the news is. Um, and we're going to see, you know, Bitcoin, he, he, here's the overall situation, okay? Bitcoin has rallied an absolute, a massive amount in almost the exact month, okay? Around the 26th of February, we saw Bitcoin really start to have its, its spike with it surpassing its all-time high over here uh, a little bit later, okay? So with all that's going on, uh, Bitcoin is going to be one of the large strongholds of the crypto market. And many altcoins follow directly with Bitcoin, okay? And it's a very interesting how, how, how the whole market has been set up like it has, okay? Bitcoin in the last seven days, you know, I've seen around a 5% increase, okay? Bitcoin's market cap is sitting around $1.3 trillion, right, guys? So volume in the last 24 hours being at almost $40 billion. It is so much higher than Ethereum and, and all of the other altcoins. I mean, it is such a stronghold of the market, and it really is going to dictate about, you know, what's going to happen further. So we're going to have to keep covering, you know, when we see things like this. But overall, it, it's Bitcoin's here to stay, and there's going to be a lot of conformity going on with, with all the rules and regulations. Um, that they're going to try to impose on this very, you know, decentralized currency, you know, which is what, which is really what cryptocurrency is. Um, and Bitcoin has shown, you know, tried and true how strong and how, how much it's basically saying, you know, I'm here to stay, whether you like it or not. And a lot of the holders understand that. And a lot of the people are very, very committed to the cause. And as Bitcoin gets closer and closer to the Bitcoin halving, we're going to see it most likely spike. If it reaches over 100,000 per Bitcoin, I think, Things are going to absolutely go crazy in the crypto market. We're going to start to see so much internal and external fluctuation going on. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was insightful. And like I said, you know, not the typical video, but really important to understand kind of, uh, I guess, uh, government and, and intervention and, and a lot of these uh, things that are going on with overall crypto markets. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Comment down below what you think and what your holdings are and what you plan to do. Uh, so we can all, you know, we're all a big family here. Just trying to make a few bucks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.